Hi friends! In today's video, I'm sharing a Trader Joe's grocery haul and I'm also trying new products including some low carb and gluten free items. I discovered two finds that are complete game changers in my kitchen and I also came up with a way to remake some expensive products for only a fraction of their cost. To start out with, I'm going to be trying their Grecian style eggplant with tomatoes and onions. I have passed by this so many times, but today I'm finally going to make the move and try it. I spotted this red lentil gluten free pasta. I love the idea of having a high protein pasta that's made out of lentils, so I'm going to give that a try also. I found a couple products that I decided not to purchase, like this cauliflower stir fry and the mashed cauliflower, because I do feel like I could make that on my own, but if you think I should try either of those, please let me know. I was also eyeing this chickpea mixture that had tomatoes and black beans, but the sodium was so far off the charts that I decided to pass on this. I could probably make that at home as well, although a lot of times it is better to try something before recreating it. I don't know, I might rethink that and pick that up next time I'm here. I'm back home now and I'm just going to get right into what I got. This shredded kale is a convenience item that I love to buy because it makes meals so easy. I use this in breakfast stir fries, which you'll see later in the video. I splurged on some veggies during this grocery haul. I don't let myself go to Trader Joe's too often because I do spend too much money there, but I mostly only shop at Sam's Club or Trader Joe's, so it's nice to be able to get some of these veggies in the smaller packages. I got these cauliflower slims that are low carb and gluten free. I had this picture of a similar product that was called cauliflower thins and it had the same exact ounces as the cauliflower slims. So I'm not sure if they've just changed the name or what, but I'm going to be trying that. I've passed by these jicama wraps for so long and since I get a lot of requests for low carb and gluten free menus, I thought I would try these. Plus I do like jicama. I love fresh green beans. They're perfect in stir fries and so many different ways. I picked up this ciabatta bread for my sons. They like to eat these on sandwiches. I also got these mozzarella and tomato salads. My son and I both love these. And then I picked up this mushroom ravioli. This is for my youngest son's lunch. And then I got this sriracha baked tofu. I'm kind of surprised I haven't already picked this up since I do eat so much tofu, but I thought it was time that I finally tried it. I also picked up this super firm block. Um, I'm actually almost out of tofu. I need to get to H Mart. And then I got these. Um, so if you watch my recent low carb eating plan, you'll know I've been eating about 30, 20 to 30 carbs for each meal. And I was thinking if I added one of these in with my eggs in the morning, that would be perfect as just an option every now and then. I do love their hash browns, but I think they have onions in them. I picked up these folio cheese wraps. I think that these might be a great resource. And obviously I can recreate some of these items also at home, having been inspired by the regular product. I also picked up the Greek salads. Those are popular in my family. And then I got the cremini mushrooms just because, again, this is a splurge, but I love having those just to throw into my stir fries. I got this Genoa salami and provolone cheese to go with the ciabatta baguettes because my sons like to make Italian hero sandwiches with these.
I picked up this brown basmati rice. Basmati is already lower on the GI scale, so I'm thinking brown basmati rice would be even better. And I don't see this often, so I'm looking forward to trying this. And then you already saw the red lentil pasta, which is very high in protein and gluten-free, so looking forward to trying that. And I bought a can of the eggplant with tomatoes and onions that you saw earlier. I've walked past this for years. Not sure why it's taken me so long to try this. I think that maybe the idea of canned eggplant was a turnoff. Just thinking about the texture, maybe that's why I walked past it. But we're definitely going to be trying it today. I picked up these dark chocolate covered almonds. When I go to Trader Joe's, this is my treat. I love dark chocolate and I like to have one or two of these in the afternoon. I picked up this sriracha seasoning blend. This caught my eye and when I was reading the ingredients, it said it had vinegar in it. So I thought this was worth a try. I like the ingredients list. And then I picked up these salmon jerky dog treats for Misha, which has the added benefit of giving her some omega-3s. They do kind of smell like fish, but she really loves these. I always buy these plantain chips and almost always pick up a container of hummus to go with it. So this is my guilty pleasure. I love salty snacks, so I grab these as well as the corn chips, but one of these I'm going to put away for next week, I think. It's funny when you're trying to eat lower sodium, you think that you're not going to be able to eat chips or things like that, but it's actually all of the processed foods that are so much higher in sodium, and I can totally eat chips. I'm most excited to try this sriracha seasoning blend. I think this will be a nice blend for my breakfast stir fries, so that's what I'm going to try it on. Here I'm using some of the vegetables from Trader Joe's and I will say that you do not want to breathe this in or it will make you cough. It smells fairly intense. I'm just going to stir fry this a little bit and then I'm going to top two scrambled eggs with this mixture and then eat it all together. Wow, this has a nice flavor. It's spicy, but not too hot. It's a nice balance of flavors. I really like this. I think next time I'll add even more. I was afraid it would be too hot, but it's not at all. I love the flavor. This was a good purchase. Now I'm gonna be excited to try this on some other dishes. Next up, I'm trying the Sriracha Tofu. I've always passed this up, probably because sriracha isn't my favorite hot sauce, so it didn't look especially appealing to me, but today I'll be trying this in a lunch stir fry. I tried one of the pieces of tofu and it didn't have much flavor, so I decided to add some of the sriracha seasoning in. I added a little more olive oil and I was quite generous with the sriracha seasoning this time. I will say that I would not purchase the sriracha tofu again. It was $3.99 and I can get blocks of tofu for about $1.50 at H Mart. So that's not a good buy for me. This sriracha seasoning though is my new favorite find. It is a game changer in my kitchen. I've been putting it on everything and I just love it. I even tried mixing it in with some eggs and liked it that way as well. Most of all, I love that it's a tool to help me eat healthier. Next up, I'm trying the jicama wraps. It says on the package it's great for tacos, so that's exactly what I'm going to do with them. This only has one net carb in two wraps. Okay, now that I've made my taco filling, I'm ready to assemble the tacos. 
The jicama wraps feel very wet and almost slimy, which I'm not really sure what I was expecting, but I don't think that was it. I think that this little taco holder that I got is perfect for this. Otherwise, this would probably be a real struggle. These are kind of hard to grab a hold of because of their texture. The taste is good. It's just a very neutral flavor. They are very hard to hold though. I don't think that these are better than lettuce. In fact, I think they're not as good as lettuce. One of my favorite low carb options is to use romaine lettuce and just make these taco boats with them. These are also good with either purple cabbage or butter lettuce. If you use butter lettuce, you can actually wrap them up. But yeah, I feel like this is a much more pleasant experience. Plus it's a lot less expensive, so I wouldn't buy these again. However, I know that they must be selling a lot of these if they're still stocking them, so there must be a lot of people that like them. I even tried frying them to see if I could find another use for these, but the moisture content was just too high, so that didn't work out. If you have another way that you use these that you love, please do let us know. Next, I'll be using the Cauliflower Slims. I've been looking forward to trying these. I recently tried the Cauliflower Pizza and loved it so much that I'm open now to trying new cauliflower products. This came in a package of four. So these are about a buck a piece. First, I'm going to see how crispy this will get in my toaster oven. I'm also going to make a tomato sauce with the Trader Joe's spicy Italian style sprinkle seasoning with fennel. This has become one of my favorites. Basically, I just use that with a little tomato sauce and it creates a nice marinara. This is not getting crispy at all, so it's not quite what I thought it was going to be. That being said, this is low carb and gluten free, so it does make a nice canvas for whatever you want to put on it. In this case, I'm just making a little pizza. I'm going to put some Kalamata olives and a small amount of this pizza blend cheese. This is actually pretty good, and I love the fact that it's high protein and low carb, but I do feel like we could make this ourselves. Looking at the ingredients, it's basically just cauliflower, eggs, and Parmesan cheese. Okay, now let's try the Greek style eggplant with tomatoes and onions. And I'll start by tasting it right out of the can. Okay, wow. That is really delicious. It's delicate in flavor, but yet still very full of flavor. It's, it's hard to explain. Let me try this on a piece of garlic toast. Also delicious. This would make a great appetizer. If you bought two of these cans and then served it with some crostini, that would be an awesome appetizer. I had no idea it would be this good. Next, I think I'll try this with some eggs because I haven't eaten breakfast yet and I think the delicate flavor of this would go well with the eggs.
This mixture has some oil in it that could be used in several ways. I'm topping this with avocado and tomatoes just to give it more color and also because I need some more calories, but I'm going to give it a taste with just the eggplant and the cheese. That is delicious. It's a perfect combination. I swear this is like a vegan's caviar. This is a special food product. I wish I would have tried this sooner. I don't mind the texture at all. It just, the eggplant just tastes a little bit soft, but it's so flavorful. It's such a pleasurable experience. I think there's so many different applications for this. And then I tried pouring a little bit of the oil over the top and that was so flavorful and so much more decadent. I'm going back and I'm going to stock up on this and I'm also going to try to make this myself at home. I think this would be fairly easy to make. And now I want to share with you an awesome money saving tip. Over the last few months, I have developed a very expensive oat milk habit. I love the taste of oat milk. One of the milks I like is Oatly, which costs almost $6 at Target. Recently, one of my viewers commented on a video and said, wouldn't it be more economical to make the oat milk yourself? And that got me thinking. I never really thought I could make it myself because first of all, I didn't think I had a powerful enough blender. I have a small ninja. But thanks to her, I thought I would try it myself. Plus, I started buying oatmeal from Sam's Club in large quantities because my oldest son has been going through this like crazy, so I have plenty of oatmeal. Although it doesn't take very much. I've been making mine with a half cup oats and three cups water. Some people will add one cup of oats. I think it really depends on how you're using it. If you're drinking it straight, then you might want it to be a little richer. But I'm using mine in oatmeal and also in shakes, and I found that I like it with just a half a cup. I'm adding in just a drop of vanilla here and also a tiny amount of salt, but I don't always do that. I'm basically just doing it for you because if I were drinking it straight, I would probably want it like that. And then I just blend it for between 20 and 30 seconds in my Ninja, and it turns out perfectly. Then you need to drain it twice, and some people have said that they enjoy eating the remaining oats, but I haven't tried those yet, and some people also say that they use ice to cut down on the sliminess, but honestly, mine wasn't slimy, so I'm not really sure where that's coming from. Maybe they're using instant oats, I really don't know. I just use the regular whole oats with water, and it tastes great. I didn't add any sweetener to mine, but you could add two teaspoons of maple syrup or you could just use honey or sugar depending on whatever you have on hand or can afford. You can also use this to make chocolate milk or strawberry milk. It's very versatile. And like I said earlier, I've been buying my oatmeal at Sam's Club and it comes with 226 servings for $12.88, which equals out to be just under six cents per half cup serving. So I'm able to make the same amount of oat milk as the $6 Oatly milk for less than 10 cents. And there's no nasty fillers or other ingredients. It's just such a huge win on this. I'm so grateful to my viewer for the suggestion about oat milk. I love all the tips and things that we share here in the community. It really helps us all save more money. And I can't help but think about all of the people that maybe have milk allergies or children that are vegan and their parents just cannot afford to buy oat milk. So I'm hoping that this will be as helpful for them as it was for me. Next up, I want to try these Parmesan cheese wraps. They are low carb and gluten free. Since I'm a huge cheese lover and I think the fried cheese is one of the finest things ever, I already know I'm probably going to like this product. If you're eating keto, then you probably already know about this, but I wanted to try this and also introduce it to my viewers that are looking to eat a lower carb diet, whether that be for diabetes or they need to eat gluten-free or just for overall health. I know that you can get this in some other varieties on Amazon, but I was glad that Trader Joe's had the Parmesan cheese because I do love that. It comes in a pack of four, so these are about a dollar each. I followed the package instructions and I microwaved it for one minute and this is how it came out. I cut this into fourths and then I'm going to top it with, you guessed it, my favorite new ingredient, 
eggplant. I do wish I would have chosen something different so you guys didn't have to watch the same thing over and over, but all I could think about was eating some more of that. In fact, I loved it so much that I went back this morning and bought some more of it. Here's what it looked like when it came out of the toaster oven. It was crispy around the edges, but it wasn't crispy like a tortilla, but it was really delicious. My son and his girlfriend each tried one and they both thought it was really good as well. So everybody loved this. I would definitely buy this again. However, it was $4. Maybe we should see if we can make these cheaper. I picked up this pepper jack at Target this morning. I wasn't paying attention and didn't realize I got the extra thin slices, so I guess we'll see how this turns out. I'm just going to overlap them so that when they melt, they blend together and create a similar shape to the folios. This is so tasty that I'm not sure why I haven't tried something like this sooner and I love the extra spice that using the pepper jack cheese gives to this. It's crunchy like a cracker and with very little carbs. I think I used more cheese slices than I needed to use but even this comes out to 74 cents per wrap. I think I could have gotten by with only four slices and that would have been 57 cents each and more similar to the size of the folio. But if you're buying your cheese on sale or at some place like Sam's Club, it's going to be a lot less expensive. Plus, I love the fact that you can use any kind of cheese that you like and customize this to your own liking. And I'm also going to try this with some black beans and hummus. I've tried a lot of fancy hummuses, but the Sabra red pepper is still my favorite. It's just so creamy and it's going to go great here. We'll get a nice crispy sweetness from the red pepper and all of this will be complemented by the smoothness and richness of that avocado. Friends, if you've never made this before, I definitely suggest it. It's very good and it's a great way to moderate your carbs. Even if you're not doing something like keto and you're just trying to eat lower carb, this is a great tool to have in your toolbox. And obviously, if you don't want to have any of the fuss, you can just microwave the individual cheese slices. The original wraps have one and a half ounces of cheese. I thought I'd try that with extra sharp cheddar because that is one of my favorite cheeses and these equal out to be 49 cents each with what I'm paying for this at Sam's Club. And I microwaved it for two minutes. It might have been a little too long, but this is delicious as well and would even be good as a chip dipped in salsa or hummus. And before I conclude this video, I did want to tell you that I tried the gluten-free red lentil pasta and liked it. I cooked it in heavily salted water and I was out of vegetables at the time, so I just added a little bit of the eggplant and tried it that way. The pasta wasn't as chewy as regular pasta, of course. The ingredients were 100% red lentils. So I think in this case, one of the ways to mitigate that is to add it to a dish where you have a lot of vegetables to pasta ratio and where one of those vegetables are chewy, like maybe mushrooms. So I'm looking forward to trying this again that way, but the flavor was really good and I would definitely buy this again because it had 13 grams of protein in it and I love the fact that this is healthy and a whole food product. Making this video made me realize how important it is for me to be out shopping at a variety of stores and trying new products. I want to thank my Patreon supporters whose donations help me to buy supplies every month. I also want to thank all of my loyal viewers who continue to show up for me every week. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video and that you found at least one tip or recipe that you'd like to try in your own kitchen. Thanks again, friends.
I'll see you next week.